Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm usually in the Lake District, but today I'm in Milne Guy, which is just north of Glasgow. And this bad boy is the start, official start of the West Highland Way. I'm going that way, 96 miles to Fort William through the Highlands of Scotland. So come with me on my journey and I'll show you what it has to offer. Let's go. So yeah, 96 miles. I'm gonna, I'm aiming to do around six days of this, or five or six nights, but it's probably gonna be me just waffling crap and talking shit all the time. Uh, but, so my day started yesterday. I'm, I live in the northwest of England in Witness and Cheshire, so I didn't really fancy a five or six hour train journey and then have to start, because that probably would have been starting around midday, so. I got into a Premier Inn last night in Milne Guy. There's two there, um, and then I, th I thought, you know, better to get a good night's sleep, really. So I started off with a light Aldi breakfast with some porridge and some uh, pan of chocolat. Well, you can get, you can pay 9.99 in the beef eater to help yourself, but I like to start off light before I walk, and I don't want to feel bloated, but. There are two Premier Inns in Milngai, randomly, quite near each other. There's a McDonald's, as I say, there's an Aldi, there's a Waitrose, there's a Greg's, Costa Coffee, so you're spoiled for choice, really, on food, just before you start. So, what I'd say is, definitely plan your journey. Where are you going to be the night before? If you're going to get a train, you know, what are you going to eat? And you can do it a bit cheap if you wanted to as well, so. Yeah, the hotel wasn't cheap, but as you can see, the uh, path's been quite flat so far. Apparently, the first day is is fairly easy, really. Although it probably depends how long you want to do. Um, I'm heading for Conic Hill today. So that's 18 mile from Milne Guy. I need to work on my Scottish pronunciation, but. I'm um, soon about to hit Craigallion Lock and then we're going on to Drimmon. Current buns just starting to appear for the first time today. But as you can see, the seven mile to Drimmon. I'm doing quite an all right pace. I'm only going steady, really. I'm not. I'm not in any rush because to, today, like I say, trying to do 18 miles, and tomorrow I'm going to plan and do 23. So I need to sort of rest my feet as much as I can, but. Yeah, like you said, like I say, you know, it's been okay. The paths are quite flattish. You know, the first day is supposed to be easy, so, and it's not really been that hard. Um, but I think the um, the some of the West Highland Way or most of it, it'll, it covers uh, all military roads and all railway tracks. That's why, like this one now, is kind of straight and flat, and. It makes it easier on the feet as well, which is good. Especially on our first day, just to blend you into it. We'll see what it's like tomorrow. So that was the beach tree. That was the first place I'd seen. Quarter past nine now. I said uh, it wasn't up until 10, I was thinking, is it too early for a beer? But. Um, but press on to Drimmon and they'll might stop there and see if there's anything on the way. There might be an honesty box or something. Let's see what we got in here then.
Mm, I don't know, a bit pricey really. There's a little shortcake thing, 350. Probably get that for one pound in winters, probably. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll it'll probably be like this the whole way, really. But and I, I have got cash. So definitely bring cash. Definitely bring coins for that sort of thing. But um, I'll just keep going and see what's what. When I feel like I'm desperate, then I'll probably go. But not yet. Gotta get that water in you, hydrate or die. Probably a bit serious for saying, but you say it on the old job. There we are, hello, yeah. Well, you won't be able to see, but what a sight that is. Can just see. Um, Lot Lomond appearing for the first time today and then over here there's uh, Connick Hill which is my destination for the night but see the um, Scottish Highlands in the distance on the other side of Lot Lomond as well <laughs> starting to feel like I'm in Scotland right slight detour I've um, dropped into Drimmon. I'm going to get something to eat because I am Hank Marvin and then uh, I'll have to walk back. Cheeky half in the Winnick Hotel. Right, out of Drimmon. Uh, there's a spa here. There's a um, a hotel down there and uh, there was a deli uh, it's a good little place just to stop I had a sleep on a park bench <laughs> uh, just needed some rest and to recover a bit good to get the socks off and dry the feet out and air them but gonna get back on the path and crack on for the conic hill done 18 miles for the day my feet are knackered um, might it's quite windy up here actually I might drop down a bit and get out the wind a bit and just give me a little head start for tomorrow but what of you Lot Lomond, nestled in the heart of Scotland's first national park, is renowned for its stunning natural beauty and diverse wildlife. It is 22.6 miles long and between 1 and 8 kilometres wide, with a surface area of 27.5 square miles. It is the largest lake in Great Britain by surface area. Lot Lomond draws visitors from around the world, attracted by the sweeping landscapes, the range of activities and its rich history. <sighs> Welcome back, well, um, came off the I was on the top and it was really windy so I've come down a bit but um, got me pitch, this is the Abisco Light 2. Um, I found a little flat pitch, I'm just above the um, boundary for the uh, management thing for camping. Um, and I'm trying to be a bit low-key, but bright, bright blue tent and there's still people coming up and down Conic Hill so I don't really know what the etiquette is in Scotland about uh, camping so but I wanted to get out of the wind really so but it's a great view, I'll put you in the wind uh, Voila! What a sight to look at tonight that is um, so I'm just gonna chill out, get some tea, and then um, probably get some rest. To be honest, because I need it. But um, yeah, tonight's pitch is free, 
and uh, I need to get my body ready for a um, second day walk in Loch Lomond all the way to Ben Glass campsite 23 mile I think that is that way Ooh. right okay um, I'll um, see you later morning everyone well what a night what a difference a night makes eh uh, pea soup I'm in on Conic Hill just below it but uh, that is me done leave no traces ever always that in no matter what country and uh, I'm gonna drop down into Balmaha and get some scran see you down there Well, what difference a cafe makes with a lawn sausage and a cup of tea. Seven pound-ish, but it's giving me some energy. So now we're gonna head towards Ben Glass. Quick stop first, pit stop. Me and Tom visits. All buddies we are. That's the Tom Weir statue. So yeah, just gonna um, walk along the lock shore now to Ben Glass campsite and hopefully we'll get the see what happens maybe I'll have to do a wild camp because my feet are pretty sore so see how it goes just on the path now and it leads towards the Ben Lomond car park near Roa Denon hotel the path runs adjacent to the road at times and also adjacent to the lock. It's sort of one minute adjacent to the road, back to the lock, back to the road, back to the lock. And it is a, li a little tiny bit uphill and downhill, but you know, it's, it's lovely being amongst nature. So as you've seen there, I just passed a few campsites. There was Miller Rocky, hope I've pronounced that right which was a caravan and camping club. I don't know if they take backpackers though. You'd have to probably ring and ask because when I did the Cumbrian way, they did take backpackers for one night, but with it being a caravan and camping club, I'm not sure, but the Cashel campsite, that'll probably take anyone. So the Mill Rocky one is about two miles from Balmaha and the Cashel is about three and a half. So maybe plan in advance if you're going to go, then stock up for supplies, food and that there. Or you'd have to walk back to Balmaha. I'm not, I don't know if there's any food and restaurants on the site itself, but I'm sure there will be some sort of shop or something you can get supplies. Get our water down here, hydrate or die. Bit of a climb this one. I think I spoke too soon when I said a little bit of in inclines. That was a cheeky little climb. The shores of Lot Lomond. Certainly worked off the scrum I had last night. You know, I've never been so happy to see a bar. So that was a clansman. Um, it's probably about eight miles from Balmaha. Um, nice food that. Much needed food, much needed pint, much needed stop and refresh and energise. 
and uh, perk me up. So, right, I'm going to walk towards Inversnade, not as far as that, maybe about four or five miles, and then find somewhere for a pitch for the night. See you there. So, what we got here, another honesty box. They're a posh one, this, very nice. In Ben's Bakes honesty box, in these pink honesty box. Mmm, let's see what we got in this one. I might buy something from this one. Oh, look at them little cakes there. Like crispy cake. Don't know, I might get a rice crispy cake, two pound. I think this me I think they're trying to keep it cool and I've got the door wide open so let's get something from an honesty box for a change. This is a uh, orange tiffin. Cheers Ben. That'll put me up there. 68 miles to go, Fort William. Woohoo! No one here. I actually assumed that there's going to be people in here. Every video I've watched on YouTube, there's always someone in here. You can even um, get a bed up there or um, people's memorabilia, maybe. Probably left some candles and uh, gas. Yeah, some in there. No wine. Get the fire on. But I'm gonna crack on further down and um, yeah, we'll keep going a few miles. So that was the bothy, but I didn't really fancy staying in the bothy because um, it's just in the trees, it's all dark and you know, it feels that was like four o'clock and it felt like it was nearly night time so but you know my feet are knackered um, it's, it's amazing you at the start of the walk you, or the start of each day you've got all this life and this energy and you feel like you could crack on smash 23 miles <laughs> then you get into it halfway like this and your feet get start getting sore and you're carrying this backpack which feels like a lorry trailer and well i'm like 14 mile in now for the day so and i need to stop so sun's coming out as well so i'm gonna find replace the pitch but i'd like to be on the lock so i can sort of like soak up the lock sure but i need to get away from these flies i see what where we can find Well, I've actually got my pitch. It's actually poked me up here with this pitch, but I'll show you it. I'll just stop waffling, but got it here. What great, great. Yeah, it's awesome. And the, it's just a view really. It's, you know what I mean? It just looks onto that, onto Loch Lomond. I can soak that up all night, hopefully without any midges. Um, and I'm gonna leave the front door down as well. So I can just um, let the breeze come in as well. So. Hopefully that'll get rid of some flies. Uh, but, you know, I need to chill out now a bit, get some scran. Um, just, um, basically, I think if you have a wild camp along here, you need to think about uh, also, you know, what you're gonna eat. So I've just, I grabbed a pie in Balmaha, so not very healthy and all, but I just need some dirty food tonight. <laughs> really grub and quick and easy. So, um, just need to chill out really.
thought that'd be nice and warm on my feet. My feet are red hot and I thought that'll be nice and cool, that is freezing. If, uh, if anything, I won't be going for a swim in there. On everyone well it is me by the way but one too many friendly midges this morning so I need to be on my merry way but leave no traces ever I well thanks for the great view of Loch Lomond there it's been a pleasure an amazing camp this tonight but I'm gonna carry on this way to Ben Glass campsite for a good shower and a pint <laughs> See you there. Oh, I'm going to the Inversnade Hotel first for a you know, little break, chill out, and then on to Benglass. But see you there, let's go. I'm just thinking um, a bit a little tips on the way. So, um, if you're going to walk the lock, which you should do, then don't do it in one day. I wouldn't do it in one day. Uh, I've seen other videos where people do it in one day they come to the end of lock and they kind of hate the lock because the path is quite up and down it's very up and down towards Inversnade to Ben Glass that is quite tricky so you know you're tired grumpy up and down feet are probably sore um, so far I've this will be two days for me I'm loving the lock I love it. I wish I could stay another night, but I'm kind of pushed for time. Um, I kind of wish there was no road over there either, or you know, you do hear motorbikes and cars and lorries. It's a shame, really, because now I've got a tow bus, tow boat with his microphone on. But, you know, you, you can't really get away from the road because it is, it is far, but. The noise is quite close, um, so I definitely do one or two, or two or three days on the walk in the lock if you stay in campsites or camp while camping or hotels. Also, if you are going to wild camp, I wouldn't do what I've done. I've wild camped two days now, two nights, and then I'm going to a site. If you're gonna do this in summer if you're going to wild camp I'd then either get a site the next night or a hotel just so you can get a shower uh, that's my preference if I did this again um, bring as much light kit as you can I brought Fjall Raven Abisco too which is two kilograms is still light but I have got a lighter tent and I wish I'd have brought that so um, if you're going to do this in summer be aware uh, mid G's the horrible deal you need to find so if you're going to wild camp you need someone to find somewhere where it's going to be windy because they hate wind or if you can do it at night time find somewhere to bit of a tricky bit but find somewhere that you can get a fire going because I think they hate smoke as well so wind and smoke to get them out of the way um, keep your feet your feet are probably your number one priority really uh, any blisters get them sorted bring lots of blister packs compede very good but you've got to maintain your feet, uh, make sure they don't get wet.
Right, that was the Inversnade Hotel. Um, so, as, the, as the, the lock, sorry, the hotel and the lock, the hiker's entrance is on the left side. Um, you gotta walk in by the hiker's entrance, take your boots off and your coat. It, it not it sounds like quite strict, but I just read the signs. Uh, I read a few reviews from it, and uh, so yeah. And then food food doesn't start till eleven, and you, but you can get drinks at ten. I just had a cup of tea and a Kit Kat, and it was nice to get out the, in a chilled environment, out the way of the midges, and just chill out. There was free drinking water. There was Wi-Fi, and there was also uh, there's a bunk house further up the road if you don't want to stay at the hotel because i think it might be quite expensive i think there's a, a some sort of bon bunk house dormitory thing and not sure further up the road that the hotel do own as an alternative option um but i'm going to crack on now to what possibly could be the most trickiest part of the west highland way uh for the next six mile to Benglass campsite See you there. <sighs> I didn't think I'd fit the bag of fit, fit through there. <sighs> That's not what you need. Nice to have a little treat of us wooden steps. It's a hard climb. This is Dune Boffy. This is empty as well. I can't believe I've been to two Boffies and both of them are a bit empty. It's a large area to sleep there. Quite, quite dirty really, but you know, there's a fire on this part and then people have just left their belongings there that gas and you know, things to burn maybe. But um, I'm going to the campsite for a bit of luxury. Right, I'm um, coming to the end of Lot Loman now, but all 22.6 mile of you, you were bloody beautiful Lot Loman. And I wish I could soak up a lot more of you. But it's time for a beer and a shower. Morning everyone. Well that was the Ben Glass campsite. 
12.50 a night it's okay basic um bar's good staggering don't know about staggering i definitely staggered out last night <laughs> after a few um food is probably around i expect to pay around 15 pound a meal um they do breakfast in the morning full scottish if you want that or a breakfast roll um sausage and egg bacon and egg sort of thing cups of tea uh, there's Wi-Fi and um, yeah it was nice to have a re refresh uh, get my energy back up so plan is today it was to go to Tindrum and it still is but I'm gonna see how I feel and I might do instead of doing 12 miles to Tindrum I might do 21 mile to Bridge of Orkey so don't know I've only just started so let's see when I get there or closer in see how my feet are but um, following the road and the railway and the river most of the way up to uh, Craglacken I think it was called and then on to Tindrum see you there road now as it runs adjacent to the road and the track and you have the pylons as well and there's not really any getting away from all the uh, you know humans I suppose and uh, you know it's if you want something a bit more off the beaten track remote maybe the Cape Raft Trail or something might be more suitable not comfortable oh God. oh so um this is the lock the locking of the lost sword so apparently robert the bruce's sword claymore is the somewhere um Jamie ain't got a metal detector but <laughs> I am knackered and can't be bothered to look for that I need a shower and a rest and I'm about two miles from Tindrum now everyone day five of the Scottish adventure <laughs> again feeling refreshed but <laughs> we'll see what I'm like in when I get 10 mile in <clears throat> but uh, that was the Tindrum Holdy Park uh, 18 pound um, I don't really know what I paid 18 pound for yeah he had a shower and that which is nice but on the showers flooded and I was kind of like in the crap in the bottom of the shower pod thing you know so um, but but when you do the walk from Benglass to Tindrum you think that it's gonna be or you hear about it being and that quite an easier route so you think it's nice to get to Tindrum to have some refreshments like the Green Welly shop and there's a pub there where you can get a drink and a meal at night time but um, I just feel like with the campsite I didn't I just don't know what the £18 was for it wasn't worth that but anyway today we go this way and that is um, I think or a hope or I've been told that 
it starts opening up now to what I have in my head of what Scotland is and um, so we're heading to Bridge of Orkey which is around nine mile and then we're going to King House for a camp which is at around total of around 19 miles so it's going to be a long day bit of a slog on the feet but see how it goes right see you there Just passing through Bridge of Oki at the nine mile point. Uh, there's not much here, there's a um, train station which I think might be the point of no return because I don't think there's a train station after this until Fort William. There's a community hall and a fire station, a rather nice hotel which might have not have a nice price and there's also a famous bridge with a fantastic view fantastic view either side I'd say and this is stood here since 1750 it's got a great view all around I believe you can also camp on this area here with the picnic benches I'm gonna carry on to a few miles there's a place called Inverrowan and then I reckon I'll probably over the kind of hill of the miles and the you know should be around eight miles to go i think from there so we'll have a little pit stop That was Inver Rowan. I just had a sandwich with a packet of crisp. Quick bite to eat and then I'm gonna get on the whole way. Um, it's quite pricey, it's a 450 for a sandwich, basic. Um, so, but you can get, uh, there was a bar, you know, if you want, there's a hotel if you need to stay there. Um, there's free drinking water, so it's a good little, refreshment thing place to you know boost your energy <laughs> right okay so you have got about eight mile to go to king house so little place for a wild swim but not happening today I need to crack on just want to get to King House now but this is Rannoch Moor it's just pure landscape and just wilderness and beauty all the mountains around as the river cuts through the landscape and the path of the West Highland Way just cut through the valleys it's just you and other walkers and you just just your mind and your soul and your heart and your thoughts about what an amazing place this is I mean even today what great weather I've had blue sky and you know even when it's even when it's dark and dirty and moody it's still a beautiful landscape I'm not sure if there's anywhere in the UK that you can find such beauty as this
well just as I am nearly 17 miles in I don't think it's very beautiful in in my socks <laughs> my feet are on day five my feet are so sore but I'm gonna drop down now into King House which is down here uh, I don't know if you can see, can see the hotel uh, I'm gonna wild camp well arrived at King House um, so this is the hotel um, and then you come through this gap here where these two guys are you can see and then you, you've got a pitch on the right hand side you're not allowed to pitch over there I'm guessing the, the hotel owned that and it probably ruins the view of the people who've had a room for 300 odd quid <laughs> um, so yeah I've got a pitch here I'm not I don't really like it to be honest but it is what it is um, and then I've got a view of stop stop Dirk I think it might be called which is class to be honest but yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying to sort of block out the block out the hotel um, don't want to see that uh, and I just want to look down there so but it's free so and also you can um, in the bar uh, over here the white building you can use the uh, you can use the bar and the, you can get meals as well so I'm gonna go in there there's also public showers and toilets that you can use so I'm gonna get a shower so that's why I came here really um, there is another accommodation over the road further up which is the Glencoe ski resort but I just didn't fancy that I wanted a I wanted a shower really and all that and then the bar and I'm also a little bit further on because you know tomorrow we're gonna go that way to Devil's Staircase so but anyway I'm gonna get a shower chill out go in the bar I'll show you a bit of the bar and then uh, get something to eat bar so um yeah burger and chips it was basically mcdonald's fries but 14 pound burger was all right chips rip wrap but you know what fill me up actually and now it's 20 to 9 i need an early night so i'll see you in the morning On everyone day six i think it is i'm losing track of my days day six scottish adventure in the west highland way that was the uh, king house well while camping at king house there but people are just putting their tents away now uh, um it's about nine o'clock i need to get away but so today i've got a six hour ish walk 12 ish mile to king lot leaven king lot leaven uh, going down here via, via the Devil's Staircase and then we'll drop down into Kinlock Leaven but I've got a great view there I think it's Stob Dirk I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right but yeah what a great view so feet, feet are okay-ish we'll see how that goes but I've got some determination in here so two days to go two days of pain but met some great few lads there, great people, a few lads uh, especially uh, talking to uh, who are going to follow me. So see what <laughs> see what antics I get up to, eh? Right. Anyway, enough enough of me talking crap. Let's get on with it.
head down and look at the floor and just keep going and I think we're at the top oh not at the top <laughs> top's just up there that little cairn but just up there but I think this is probably the best of you what a view that is Over here is, uh, in the distance is Blackwater Reservoir. You know, what I love about Scotland is, okay, Scottish water or someone's probably built a dam there, but I don't know that, so I could probably go there for a week and not see a soul. I don't actually know of any bond has ever been over there. It's just, you know, there'd be no jet skis and no boats on that and it's just like just pure peace you know and it's just like it's like 10 mile long or something and there's a there's probably about another 100 locks in in scotland just like that it's just like pure solitude and peaceful over there you know Um, black water campsite just coming into Kinloch leaving now they got these uh, tent boxes looks quite nice actually nice little setup <laughs> right I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna carry on this um, site for the site further down apparently so crack onto that for a bit I was just want to be a bit further for tomorrow so let's go in this corp and get some morale change of plan I had, pa I had plans to camp at McDonald's campsite and hostel uh, but I asked the guy he said it was full he said uh, there's a campsite over the road I looked and it was a housing estate <laughs> so don't know if he meant while camping he was I didn't speak very good English but who knows um, so to either go back to Blackwater and try there I did ask before I came here so I think she said it was £15, so if anyone wants to go there, it, it looked nice. I did say showers, toilets, £15 a night, but it's 15 miles from here to Fort William tomorrow, so I just want to do a bit more, and then tomorrow might only be 10 maybe miles, so plan for a wild camp further on. You know, the sun's been in all day, it's been cloudy. <laughs> the minute I start going on, the sun comes out. It's red hot. Oh, this is brutal. Now I need at the end of the day. Oh, Jesus. A um, lot leaving back there. Be 
Hopefully I'll get a good view of the lock of a wild camp though. I'll come off the uh, top of that hill there, uh, back onto the military road and path's actually quite good. Uh, and it's made me think, you know, there's only 15 miles to go. So when I thought I might do five, well, I might do 10, I don't know, but I'm gonna miss my train. Oh, well, I'm gonna miss the train. It wasn't even mine in the first place. Uh, I'm gonna, I've not got any accommodation, so I'm gonna have to wild camp, but I might be 10 mile on instead of five, maybe even 14, who knows. Just gonna plow on until I have to stop, so. Going here, eh? Ooh, not a bad place to camp, but oh, don't fancy. Maybe the walls, you know, what I mean, might fall down, but I like to think so. It stood for many a year. Apparently, that is the 10 mile to go trig point. I didn't think I'd be here today, that's for sure. I'm about to you come you come basically you come down a valley and then you turn right down another valley I'm about to turn right down the other valley it's five o'clock now so I'm hoping maybe I can get to the I think there's a Glen Nevis campsite maybe I'll get there I'm not sure I've got, I've got loads of thoughts in my head I don't know it's a wild camp but I don't know what a wild camp here it's a bit out of the way which I want it to be you know, I just want a bit of signal. Um, I do want to try and plow on for Fort William, but I've got no signal, so I can't check the train, bro. I think it's at seven, but I'm not going to make that. My feet are saying stop, but my mind says no. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is the first sight of Ben Nevis today in the cloud. Looks magnificent now. You can even see the zigzag path going up there. I think it kind of gets halfway to like a waterfall and then it'll zigzag and it's kind of, I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit boring actually, but. Cyan brew that I bought in that co-op has got me here this afternoon. Warm, beautiful iron brew. This is dragging and I am knackered. Carl have done 20 mile today, 19 mile yesterday, 21 I think today, I think it is. Uh, I've got a plan of going to the Glen Nevis campsite, so I need a shower. That sun was just beating down in the evening there and I was just sweating flies and horrible. So um, I've just booked on there, 15 pound. So, uh, and then I'm only two and a half mile from the finish, I think. So, but it, I can't I just, I'm not going to it because it'll be two and a half mile back so um, so then tomorrow we'll just have an easy day but I kind of feel like I'm cheating really a bit by going only having two and a half mile but you know I just I need a shower so uh, anyway I'll um, got some big eats for, in the bag from the co-op and uh, I've been carrying a little crumble boil in the bag thing for the last six days so uh, when I, morale was low like it is now, I'm gonna have that. So I'll uh, see you on the campsite. Yeah, 
morning everyone day seven scottish adventure two and a half mile to go um that was the glen nevis campsite uh glen nevis camping and caravan as the sign says um so yeah what a great site that was 15 quid uh there was a bar down the road there was a um a shop up until eight o'clock there was a burger van up until nine which did look like it did good food i didn't get anything um there was oh the best thing right the showers do you know when you go in a shower on a campsite you press the button you get wet and you put soap on your head and your eyes and the, and then you can't see anything the shower goes off and you're hunting around for this button right that shower turned and it was just on pure and it was hot as well for what i needed after like 21 mile of walking what's good about the campsite is if you come down off the west highland way and you get signal and then you think you need somewhere to stay if it's a bit last minute like me and it's not planned like me um you know it was 188 pounds for a premier inn and it was 197 for a travel lodge and i thought i'm not paying that so yeah 15 pound in the on the campsite and then you just have to walk in tomorrow it's just a, it's just a great cheap alternative really and it's got all the facilities there that you need so the plan today just to walk i'm just walking along the road going to rejoin the the uh, west highland way and then it's just a boring follow the road boring into fort william back to civilization and uh, lots of cars and maybe rush hour traffic and then um, probably find the weather spoons for a brekkie and uh, see the sore feet statue for the end. Just approaching the roundabout. So this is the original uh, end of the West Highland Way here. But as you can see with the road and the roundabout, it's not very pretty, should we say. So they put it into town in Fort William, which is about another half a mile. So I'm just going to trek on into that way. So as a walk through the busy town of Fort William, and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning, back to normality. But uh, I was reflecting on the seven days of the West Highland Way, and you know there's times when it's hard a lot lowman is hard a lot you know even the day packers that get the bags transferred i've spoke to them and they all think it's hard and it's a struggle so i definitely would think about if you're going to do that getting through that maybe camping if you need to if you're a wild camper camp on lot lowman because there are times when it is amazing like when i camp there and you know you can just sit there and soak it all up and just chill out and then you know pick yourself up the next day and get on with it you know there was times when Rannet Moor is hard it's a hard 19 slog on the feet but you know there's just the sheer beauty around and up devil staircase looking back on Stob Dirk that was an amazing sight for me and then drop down to, it was you're heading towards Kinloch Leven but the valley's there and looking at the locks in the distance so you know there's a lot of places on this once you get past Tindrum I'd say then it, it that's the start of the West Highland Way for me that 50 odd miles so yeah just say take your time and even have a day off if you need to you know what I mean you can do that because you need to think about number one at the end of the day sure um, not everyone's walk is perfect I've definitely made mistakes on this and I will learn from it and then hopefully put them into good use on an even longer walk that I have planned coming up we'll see right that is me and the Sophie statue I am done 96 miles seven days I'm going in that spoons. I've got to wait till 11 o'clock for a pint, but thanks for watching. It's been a great journey. See you next time. <laughs>